So another quick video showing how you can get re requests and maybe even get some tips from people watching your broadcasting stream in these days where broadcasting is very popular. So I've set up uh, my broadcasts. This is my broadcasting stream running over here is my video window. So that's what I'm currently sending to, to Twitch, but it could of course also be YouTube or even Facebook or whatever using the internal broadcasting feature in Virtual DJ. So when that is up and running, and you want request and tips, what do you do? Well, one thing you can do is you can use the Ask the D-Day feature down here on the list of devices. So if I right click that and go into setup, it takes me to my setup page for Ask the D-Day. So what does that contain? Well, you can put in your, your streaming name, your venue name, but since you're streaming, it's basically just you. You can maybe choose another logo if you want to. But more importantly, you can enable tips and you can set up which amounts you want people to be able to tip you. And when that is set up, then based on your on your uh, virtual DJ name, you get a new page called Ask the DJ. Ask the, the DJ slash your, name, your, your, your username, like that. So if we go into that one, this is what the end user, the one watching the broadcast will see. So they can put in, a, in their name, I already did that, but I'll also be like this. So they can put in their name and then they can put in a request. And then more importantly, they can put in a tip. So if I put in, for instance, $5 tip and choose send message, it'll actually open PayPal for me. And of course, I can sign in and pay and all this kind of stuff, which I won't do in this demo. So that's how they sent the tip. And then uh, you, you get it inside Virtual DJ. In this case, I'm not going to send a tip. So it's never choose none. And it's a set message. And then almost immediately inside Virtual DJ, under the Ask the DJ folder, you can see the message, which is the request and you can see who it's from. And if you enable the tip column over here, you can see how much they sent you in tip. So that might be available information as well. In this case, it's none. But I can, of course, right click this and say, look up. So I get all my RKC uh, files and I can maybe load one of them directly and play it. Like that. But of course, you need to be able to tell people about this. So what's the easiest way to do that? Well maybe using the, the text feature. So if I go into the settings for the text feature here, I already put it in here say, well, if you want to give me a request, tips and requests, then go to this page. And then I, uh, I cho choose, well, it should probably be a, be a bit smaller. Put it at the top of the page like this, maybe like that. And then put it in pink or Arial or whatever, and make it visible. And now everybody watching the stream, watching the broadcast, can see how they they uh, they get a request and how they pay you a tip simply by going to, to this page. So now it's basically up and running for you. So the final part is you might be too busy to actually monitor this folder because you're, you're DJing. So can you get any help with that? Well, yes, you can. So for instance, if I go into uh, and remove this request, like that, and uh, I uh, I set this to monitoring always. So it's supposed to monitor uh, my Ask the DJ even I, when I'm not in the Ask the DJ folder. And then I go someplace else to do whatever, right? So you're not in the folder anymore. Then you can actually set up anything that's that has a light on it. So they could be anything on your controller, or in this case, it's gonna be the, the custom button, the user button in here. So I put in ask the DJ and then you get this little function down here. Get ask the DJ unread and that's what you want because uh, that'll actually monitor it coming in and then you maybe give the, the button a bit of name like request like that. And then we have this button here and you're not in any folder. But then if I go back to this page and put in a new request like another one, like that and then just put it over here for a second so we can see the button 
and click send message. Then within a few seconds, the request button will light up like that. And then you know there's a new request coming in and you can go to the folder here to save for yourself like that. So that was basically how you could set up uh, an Ask the DJ page where people can send requests and they can also tip you and how you uh, tell people about it in your stream maybe, that's just one option, to put it on top of your broadcast like that and then how you can set up something that monitors the, the incoming requests so you don't have to look into the folder all the time. I hope this can help some people in these days of a, where we have, see a lot of broadcasting going on.